In this video, I want to show you how you can reset your Windows 10 installation without losing your files and also without losing the users that are already created on your Windows 10 machine. You might want to reset your Windows 10 PC for many reasons. For instance, if Windows is not working correctly or if you want to just remove the applications. In my case here, the network card is not working properly. So I'm gonna reset Windows 10 to fix it. This doesn't mean that this is the only way to fix a malfunctioning network card, but this is just an example to show you how resetting Windows will fix this. Before continuing, I highly recommend you to back up your personal files. If you don't know how to do this, please look at the video in the description on step-by-step -step instructions how you can back up your Windows files. To do this, you have two options to start it. Either in the search box, you type reset, and then you choose reset this PC, or you can find it also under settings, and under update and security, you choose recovery, and here it is, reset this PC. So I'm gonna start it from here. Click on get started. So you have two options to reset your PC. The first option is to keep my files. So this way, the reset will remove all the applications and settings, but it will keep your personal files and it will also keep your usernames. The second option is to remove everything. And this option is usually used when you want to sell your PC or you want to give it to someone else. For the purpose of this video, we are going to use the first option only, which is keep my files. And please be careful and do not choose the second option because it will wipe everything. So click on keep my files. If the problem is not related to your network card and the PC can access the internet, you will be presented with these two options. I'm just showing them to you here so that you know what options you're gonna face when you perform the Windows 10 reset. If you have a fast internet connection, choose cloud download because this way you'll get a fresh Windows 10 image from the cloud. Otherwise, choose local installation. So because I have a problem with my network card, I didn't get these options. So I'm gonna switch back to my troubled PC now. After I clicked on keep my files, I got this screen and it's a summary of what Windows reset will do. So it's telling me that it will change settings back to their defaults and that it will keep personal files, it will reinstall Windows from this device, and it will remove all apps and programs. And the good thing about this is that when it finishes, it will show you what apps and programs were removed so that you can reinstall them. So just click on reset, and the operation starts. It might take a while, of course, depending on the speed of your PC. So I'm gonna accelerate this video now and come back when the operation changes a step. So now the first step is almost finished and the PC will restart and it will continue after restarting. So when the PC restarts, it will start the resetting operation and this might take a while. And now the PC restarted after being reset. And this is a phase where Windows will be reinstalled. If your PC restarts while Windows is reinstalling, it's a normal behavior. It is written here that your PC might restart several times. While the resetting operation is underway, make sure you don't turn off your PC even if it takes long. Because if you do this, Windows will be corrupted and further troubleshooting steps will be required to reinstall Windows or to rectify it. After the resetting operation finishes, the computer will restart and here because I don't have a password for my user, it just logged me in directly with this user because it's the only user on the PC. So it removes the settings but it keeps the users because it keeps the documents and as you know that the documents are related to the user's profile and it even kept my previous selection that I selected when I first configured this machine. So I'm gonna simply click on accept and notice that the network problem was rectified 
And because this is a virtual machine, it detected the network card automatically. And it will do the same if you had a physical connection. But if you had a wireless connection, you need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network. And let me show you also that all my files were kept. So this was a video on my desktop. It was preserved. And these are my documents. I just put the document here just to show you. And you see that it kept the document also. To see what applications were removed, you see here that the reset program gave you a link to the removed apps. Just double click it and it will show you what applications were removed. So if you want to reinstall them, just feel free to reinstall them. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.